Danny texts me and he says, hey, are we doing No Shave November? It's the first day of November, so you all know what that means. No Shave November. And I said, I don't know, because I am currently in the process of trying to find a new job for myself, and I have interviews, and I can't grow facial hair. It just looks like a mess of peach fuzz on my face. And then he sends me this video. He's already shaved. So I felt bad, and I said, okay, Dan, I will shave too. Even though I don't have much to shave, as you can tell, there's not much, not much there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's looking mighty, mighty good. Here we go. He's already in the process of doing it. He's already filmed his video. You'll see in the podcast, or the podcast you're watching today, you'll see that he's already shaved. Let me prop you guys up. Let me get shaving. I'll bring you along for the journey, even though there's not much here. It's probably been about three years that I've had a mustache. Straight. I've shaved my, my face down. All that kind of stuff. Obviously my sideburns, my neck. I found some old Barbasol shaving cream. So we're gonna do this legit, legit shaving. Just gonna roll your face. Get in your mouth, make sure it tastes really good. I want all the, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit up there too. Let's just shave the eyebrows off. Not really, my wife would kill me. Now can we all just say, this right here is a fire look. This is a good look. I look fantastic. If you disagree, you're just wrong, period. But this, this right here, this looks real good. All right, I don't care what none of y'all say. I got my razor. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Like I just did, I just took a chunk of skin off my finger. Like an idiot. The shape. I hope this is interesting content for you, Daniel. This is what you wanted me to do. It is no shave November, which means you gotta shave off the mustache. You gotta do the sideburns. I'm digging myself with these sideburns and mustache. I look like such a dad. A good looking dad. Now time to get the neck beard. Or the neck fuzz. Oh look, I cut myself. Here it's right there blood. See I haven't done this in a long time. This is such a flattering camera angle. I'm one sexy daddy. Alright, here we go. I'm for sure missing some spots. I'll finish it when I get inside. I'll wash this all off real quick. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. This hurts. I really don't want to shave the, the stash off, okay? I've been with just the stash many times and uh, I really don't want to do it. Now I have no choice. I almost talked myself out of it. I can feel it. I can feel it happening. That's how you decrease 20 years off your life. Or what you look like, not off your life. That's how you take 20 years off of what you look like. I'm all taken care of. Got a little nick right there. Got a little double chin. I look so weird and bad and good. I wish I had the stash and the sideburns still. Really do. Now we officially start No Shave November, so you'll see through the podcast the progression of us, you know, growing this out. You'll see I can't grow anything, and Dan's probably going to make fun of me for it, and that's fine. I'm totally prepared for that. I was born with bad hair genes, so back to the podcast. We need to project, because we keep talking kind of quieter like this, and that's got to make it harder for If I talk it. quieter, I'm just going to do it right up in my mouth all Just like this, just, yeah, just really like seductively, we're going to do an ASMR episode. Episode 2.5 is, is this ASMR. Something for you. Is this you making like you hearing my voice in your yeah. ears? Yeah. With Dan's yeah. follow up. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> no.
hear it say that I'm here. I'm here. It just, it just sounds so dorky. All right, so we are officially doing episode 2.5. Officially. No, this is episode 2. Fine, officially doing episode 2, and the one that we already recorded will be 2.5. 2.5, because it's just the audio version. Because it's just audio. <laughs> just audio. Welcome to the podcast, guys. Uh, so so we, much for that cold open. It is a cold open. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. You can cold open and then lead into a, a You're welcome. so confusing. I'm going to explain so many things to you right now. Okay, so there's a cold open. And what a cold open is, is a opening scene or conversation that then leads into intro song like they just heard. And then usually somebody eventually will be like, hey, welcome to episode two or whatever. But a cold open means that the entire episode starts with no introduction. So if you're a first time viewer, you're just jumping into something funny. But you said Welcome. That's not good. Listen, to the people who are listening to this conversation <laughs> right now, they didn't hear welcome first. They heard us. Episode, episode 2.5 of ASMR. And then all of a sudden the theme song played and now we're here. Didn't he say welcome to Danger Show's podcast when he, when he said we're officially starting part two? That's not cold open. That's a welcome. <sighs> <laughs> this burn your bread. It's absurd. <laughs> Starting to really burn my bread. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, go check out episode 2.5. The audio version is both available on all the streaming platforms. All the platforms. But also on YouTube. We're just going to have uh, – there'll be no video for it. It'll be our nice little logo. Yep. Just sitting right there on the front. All right. So something that we didn't even talk about in the 2.5 episode okay. is uh, why am I shaved? You look relatively the same. But technically, you shaved, and they will have already seen the videos of us shaving. So why are we shaved? Because it's the month of November. That's right. And what do men typically do? And I guess some women do. Do they? Isn't it just for prostate cancer? No. I thought women don't shave their pits. Maybe Movember is some just women for prostate. Women don't. Well, yeah, women don't wear to shave their legs. Oh. Okay, maybe Movember is just for prostate cancer. I mean, the only thing guys really shave are their faces. I feel like most of the time. Usually. So. Unless they're a swimmer. Then they shave everything. Yeah. Well, they mostly get w- w- waxes. W- 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 waxes. W- waxes. Yeah. So we are doing no shave November. I completely shaved off my beard. And you can't tell it's already growing stubble back. Yeah. I shaved completely like with a razor, not a electric razor like you did. And my- it's been... Almost a week, and still nothing has grown back. My skin is allergic to the the razors. I can't help it. So you shave with a plastic trimmer? You said it was allergic to no, the metal. No, it's a different type of metal. It's a different metal okay. inside of the inside of the electric razors. Because when you texted me, you said I'm allergic to the metal. Yeah, I'm like, so how do you shave your face with plastic? No. So the electric trimmers you use get a, a different, plastic butter knife. It's a different type of metal for the blade. And it's also the distance that's caused by whatever head is on it naturally. Because, like, the natural heads don't go all the way down. And so that doesn't irritate the skin. But if I use an actual shaver or if I use, like, the circular things that shaves off all the stubble, then I break out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, I break out in hives on my neck and I break out in hives on my cheek and my chin. And it sucks. I don't. I don't have those problems. Well. But I haven't used an actual razor in so long because I just trim. Yeah. That I cut myself a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Yeah? Yeah. I, I show it in the video. I show the little nick that I get. <laughs> and then I didn't show the rest because there was a lot of them. Well, I, I – well, you know, I wouldn't I say felt, I, don't, I don't nick myself because I, I do quite a bit. I felt like my dad was – trying to teach me and completely failed. Yeah. But I didn't put the little pieces of little toilet paper on my face. (laughs) Yeah, you're supposed to do that in uh, aftershave, right? I didn't have aftershave either. Who buys aftershave? I don't either. Do you think anybody our age or younger buys aftershave? I buy aftershave only for a certain part of my body, and that's just because it makes it smooth again. But that is it. Talking about your wing dang doodle? Talk about my chest. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, you seriously buy aftershave for your wing dang doodle? No. Oh, okay. My lawnmower 3.0 just came with it. Gotcha. All right. 
non-sponsored bleep Not it sponsor. out manscape <laughs> please sponsor us <laughs> like I, imagine, I need a new one already i imagine people about five to ten years older than me still buy aftershave and the reason being and the only reason i can imagine this is home alone because they grew up watching home alone like at a young enough age that it really sunk in and in that he puts on the aftershave and screams yep. you know all that and so, like, it's ingrained in people a little bit older than me that it's important. Well, it also to helps shave. keep your face not being dry afterwards. Does it? I thought it was just like no. It's to help you. It's basically like lotion. Do you remember that big bottle um, at my house that I said I bought for the boys and you can have it? No, that's aftershave. Oh, okay, it's a whole big thing of aftershave. And just to help lotion your face because when yeah. you shave, you're opening up all your pores and your face gets dry afterwards. That's why a lot of men, when they freshly shave, it's all red right here. It's because yeah. all the skin dried out. Oh. So when I uh, I used to use, when I, when I was taught how to shave, mm-hmm. I used Gillette gel, like okay. the gel shaving cream, because that's all my dad used. I didn't, that's all I knew. Like, I didn't know any other shaving cream because I just used whatever my dad had. Yeah. I went to my great-grandparents' house one time. Uh, I think it was like, it was for a holiday or whatever. And my grandpa uses Barbasol, <laughs> which is... Oh man, shaving cream. And okay. it's the foam shaving cream. Nice. Can I tell you, it is the, the only shaving cream. I've used more than just the Gillette. It is the best shaving cream I've ever used in my life. It's just Barbasol. And it's old. Like that stuff's been around forever. And it's the smoothest cut I've had while shaving. I, so my parents, very frugal people. Uh, yes. <laughs> and. They're they're part of a company, and they buy products from a company. I won't give away too much information. <laughs> but there's a soap, and it, to, to their point of view, it's a very good soap. You can use it for, like, anything, and it cleans anything. They're like, oh, so, yeah, just use that. Instead of using actual shaving cream, they just have me lather my face with that soap and then shave. That's how Rachel shaves her legs. She doesn't – she just uses soap, body soap. Yeah, she, yeah. Just, she just lathers up with body soap and – yeah, well, let me tell you, that soap never was good enough. I have very thick, like, facial hair. If it's the soap I'm thinking of, there is – my grandparents used to work for a uh, soap manufacturer, mm-hmm. and it was the cheapest soap. No, it's not that. But No, I'm just saying it's the t- it, it's this kind of soap that when it when you put on your skin, your skin just feels all, like, oh, rough I, and – Oh, I hate that so much. Okay, so, again, not a sponsor. I use – I've moved into only using bar soap in the shower, and I use uh, Dr. Squatch. Yeah, yep, yep. And I love it. Yeah, I use uh, one I like Christmas. Their deodorant too. But here's the thing: the one Christmas, Rachel got me a set of three, mm-hmm. and I got uh, I think the one was pine tar. It literally my skin because I have because I'm a ginger. Yeah, I come out of the shower. And it looks like it was attacked by a demon. <laughs> like, there's just scratches all over my oh, body. I, and I man, sat I there. Love those. Because I don't put it on a rag. I just take the, the yeah. soap and I just rub my body down with it. Yeah. Nobody else is using my soap. I use it how I want. So wait, you do full body? You rub your entire body with soap? I mean, the main parts. You don't not. wash your entire body? <laughs> so, <laughs> wait. What? The, Dan, it's not you, clean. Are you yes, I of, am. No, I'm saying that Dan, that part of your body isn't clean. Are you the kind of person that doesn't clean your feet and just allows the soap to run down to your feet? I mean, kind of. <laughs> so, wait. <laughs> Once every three months, I clean my entire body. Three months? <laughs> what parts don't you clean the other time? Okay. So, here's what I do. If I sweat, I clean the entire thing. I hope you're jealous of <laughs> She's been learning so much about me this week. <laughs> I clean my entire body if I sweat. If I'm just taking a shower after having showered somewhat recently. What's, What's recent? Yeah, what is recently? Two days. I don't shower daily. I can't shower daily. I mean, I don't shower daily either, but it depends. Well, go ahead. So not every other day. So what, okay, so if you're, if you're, if it's been two days since your last shower, you haven't sweat. You just lounge at home all day. Right. What don't you wash? Chest. Don't wash my chest. Why would I? Tell me why. It's the main part of your body that you automatically wash first. Why? Because it's right there. It's the most easiest access. <laughs> it's easier than washing your armpits because it starts yeah. here. Let me tell you what I focus on. 
Every time I take a shower, there's never a time I don't wash these parts of my body. You ready? Okay. Pits. Okay. Uh, if I'm shaved like this, I wash my face, my nose. I clean my Your southern nether regions. Yeah, yep. exactly. My nether regions, front and back. Okay. I give them all a good lathering. All right. Then once in a while, I clean my chest, forearms, my legs, and feet. Has what? anybody looked at me and said, wow, he's dirty? Has anybody smelled me and said, he doesn't smell good? I, what I want to know, no, because I've just always assumed you shower the whole thing because that's what you do. No, it's not. Dan, who gets in the shower and just cleans the crotch or just the pits? <laughs> do you understand? I have extraordinarily dry skin. My skin doesn't get oily. Use lotion. No, it takes too long, too much. I, Tyler, I've lived many lives. I've lived the life where I've showered everything. How long are you averagely in the shower? How long are you averagely, like, on average, how long do you spend in the shower? Well, are you talking about total in the shower? How long is a shower session for okay. you when you don't wash everything? 10 to 20 minutes. What are you washing at the time you're not washing? <laughs> I am soaking in the hot water. <laughs> I'm letting it run down my hair. My girlfriend's going to... Eric? <laughs> you know, Dan, you what, know... What you got to say, baby? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Dan, She's you know how me. long it takes me to shower and I wash everything? What? I wash everything but my hair. You know how long that usually takes me? How long? Five minutes. Yeah. If. Yeah. If what? If. I, sometimes four, sometimes three. Oh. Like... If it's not the right word there. Max. Max. Five minutes max? Yeah. Well, I like to relax. It's Who has time for that? Okay, you're telling me that lotioning your body to make you feel comfortable takes too long. But no, you I do want to spend time. 20 minutes in the shower. I do it what in the what, wintertime. Are you, what are you just stand? I'm not just you, standing there. What, <laughs> dead fish. What? what but okay. When you don't lotion your body because it takes too long, what time are you trying to save? What? <laughs> What? You're take you 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 said it takes too long to lotion. Everything. I'm talking about in the summertime. But so but it takes too long to lotion. What time like why are you trying to save that time? You're wasting it in the shower for 20 minutes. I've used my only washing your peach and your peach <laughs> your peach. <laughs> I your wash my peach in your nether region. I wash my peach, yeah. I, oh man, that just made me no, I do have a question. That spontaneously made me laugh so hard that I almost passed out. <laughs> have you ever that laughed? Been good have you ever laughed so hard spontaneously that like your body wasn't prepared for it? No, I've laughed so hard that I've almost crapped myself. Hmm. That's a different story for a different day. We'll right. move on. <laughs> okay, how often do you wash your hair then? Because hair is a little different story. Uh, hair. So every other shower, I wash my hair. How many right. showers do you take in a week? Three. So See, you're washing your hair twice a week? Yeah. Or once a week, depending. But. Yeah, I typically do once a week. Unless I put hair gel in it. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I keep my hair short enough, typically, where I don't really have to wash it that much. I I was unaware that this was the most disturbing thing. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> I can't. It's not. The it's way not. I want to poop. It's I not. I can't shower no, the way no, I want to no. shower. I, I can't even wipe the way I want to wipe. I agreed with you on all those fronts. I, that's not... I'm just confused of why you only wash parts of your body when you take a sh At that point, don't take a shower. Why do you, why you, do you shower? wash everything? Because it's easy. I only just put soap in my hand, and I just lather, and then I rinse, and I'm done. It's it's all the same motion, Dan. Watch. Okay, here's what I'll say. In the wintertime, I do wash everything more often. Dan, it's, it's all one motion. Ready? You put the soap on. Yeah. I just you take put the, the bar. soap on, and then you just go. That doesn't Friends? seem clean to me. You I lather, Dan. I'm just emphasizing that I don't waste my time on just doing pits and nether regions. All right, Dan. <laughs> Dan, I'm going to watch you shower one day. <laughs> Deal. We're, we're gonna, I want to see your shower routine because you might well, be saying, uh, Oh, listen, man. Okay, my, here's okay, the thing. Real quick, my back end, my backside shower routine is fantastic. 
Okay. You don't want to see that, by the way. That's a scarring. So I want to do a vlog. Okay. Of you showering. Yep. Patreon we're gonna, only. You could wear. No. <laughs> we're gonna, you're, we're gonna have you wear your swim trunks. Okay. Because you might teach me how to save time. By spending 20 minutes in the shower and not lotioning. But. <laughs> <laughs> Do you lotion every time? I never lotion. My skin doesn't get dry. That's a lie. My skin barely ever is dry. No. My hands. But that's it. You are Listen, always dry. When I was younger, so my brother is 10 years older than me. We once had to go to the doctor because his skin was so red and flaking off. And that's when the doctor was like, you can't shower daily. And you can't clean your skin daily. Well, yeah. No, no, no. My thing is you can shower daily or at least, gosh, every other day and use sensitive soap and then lotion afterwards. I know. I know grown men that use. No. You take like a toddler shower. Yeah. I know. You <laughs> take a toddler shower. If I send my son into the bathroom to shower, I know he ain't getting all his crevices. <laughs> He's just going to get this, this, and that, and then done. I, the most I know. important parts. I know grown men that use the the baby the baby body wash. I don't do that because for some reason they can't keep it out of their eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just Listen. I'm so disappointed in you guys for being so disappointed in me. Can I just I'm say not that? disappointed. I'm confused. My, the as look hell. on my girlfriend's face, the look on Erica's face, screams. She could be disappointed. She's questioning. I don't whether or not. We are still dating. I'm questioning your personal hygiene habits, yes. A little bit. Okay, listen. Okay. A little bit. We, we apparently, listen, I, I strive. I strive. I, so, I, so. I've never had complaints. In my career field, yeah. I counsel people. Correct. We're going to have a marriage counseling. Okay. Or a couples counseling. There you go. That's better wording. Erica, <laughs> unmute your mic. I have a question for you. How, How would you, you like, like Mr. Daniel <laughs> Servi? To shower. Wash all of your body parts every other day. Daniel, why is that hard for you to satisfy? <laughs> why is that why you is know, that hard for you to accomplish? You know why? Because if I just said that I did it, nobody would question if it was true. Because that's how clean I am. I'm a clean freak. So I'm constantly washing my arms, not in the shower. So if I'm doing the dishes, or if I'm doing, touching anything slightly icky, some dirt, I can't stand it. So I wash my entire arms every time. <laughs> I'm like a doctor. I'm so sterile. Daniel. Well, then now you're Daniel. still wanting me to go Daniel. do stuff that, what? Daniel. Yeah. Don't yell. All right. Dr. This Tyler. Is a, this is a safe place. You're better than no, Dr. No, Phil. No, 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 no. You're better no, than Dr. No, Phil already. You're not comparing me to Dr. Phil. Nope. I am not a real doctor. Just shave off the top of your head and put and it on your lip. I don't classify myself as a doctor. But this is a safe place, Daniel. Okay. Don't I know feel you, I know you, I I know feel you feel... I feel <laughs> I know you feel disappointed. <laughs> I know you feel disappointed. Yeah. How can you approach the situation with Erica to be okay with how you shower? Go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, should I mention that it's it's the germ aspect that grosses me out the most? I'm You're a germophobic. germophobic. Okay. <laughs> you wear a lot of this. Like, <laughs> so, like, when you are when you wash, yeah. that to me helps to get rid of all of the nastiness, not just smell, but the nastiness that was held on your clothes, the smells throughout the day, the just the griminess of it. Yeah. Because uh, there's stuff on your skin, and you don't ever wash that off. I do you wash it off. It's the ch it was the chest thing that really, that's what stuck me. <laughs> and the feet as, and the as, legs. As a non-licensed counselor, I will have to say that one stumped me as well. <laughs> it's the first Why? All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Flip on, the table. On. No, wait, wait. I never wash my boobs. <laughs> Whoa. Let's say that. Dropping the B word. I can say boobs on the internet. I know you can. <laughs> or breasts. Okay, what's that? I never wash my breasts. If Listen, I, you uh, would be like, excuse this is me, what? professional why? counseling. We only use professional words. Boobs is a slang term. That's right. Breasts. <laughs> breasts. Okay, seriously. So if you would be like, you would be like, it's, they sweat all day. They're in your shirt all you day. Would, but yours has, it's, it's a, a flap. flap. My what? chest is not a flap. It's still a chest that gets dirt and You still have on pores it. that are yes, constantly seeping out. Constantly under attack. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't take a normal shower. 
Okay, all right, all right. Listen. Nothing about me listen. normal, baby. Listen. I was hoping the hygiene listen, part. Listen, Linda's. There's two of you. Listen. You Once every four days. This is a safe and calming <laughs> place. We've got a three flame candle lit. Yeah, which I'm, I'm the one who lit it, but I'm pretty upset that it's lit. <laughs> you lit the candle. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. No, don't don't blow it out. I I kept it lit for you guys because you guys are cold. I'm not. I'm actually just took my phone off. All right, go go blow it out. Get it. Do we need to go over this again? It's three flames. Yeah, yeah. it adds heat. Okay, that no, was. We're not, not going into this again. Listen, <laughs> we are moving on from the subject because okay. I think you two need to go home and talk about your problems together because. I'm really bad at this job. <laughs> That's why I'm not there's, licensed for it. <laughs> there's no problem. Like, he's never stunk. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, that guy needs to shower. Well, there's been a couple times where you had BO, and you're like, oh, my God, I need to go shower. Like, yeah. you made it known that you needed to go shower. Yeah, like, I actively knew and, I right, to go clean myself. Right, but, like, guess, you never smell I just guess randomly. Long, it was the germs. As long as you don't smell... You are safe in my eyes. <laughs> you don't have to curl and cuddle with his chest. Okay. I wish. Well, you know what? I wish I could. It's I could floss my teeth listen. with his chest. Wait, no, you don't shower that part of your body. I'm not going to do that no, no. more. I do it all the time. <laughs> listen, his pubic hair would be good. Water that it's boiled for your safety. Okay? Can I just say that? I don't think... If your shower is getting that hot... It gets very hot. I don't remember very this. Hot. And I've... I put in a new water heater. Oh, did you? Yeah. Since the last time I've been there? Yeah. Not since the last time you've been but there. But I mean, since the last time I would have showered at your household. Yeah. Yep. And so it's to the point now where I have to keep the hot water for just like a nice warm, which is still hotter than her house. I have to keep it turned very slightly and pump the cold water you up. You can't. Like up. Have you not adjusted the I water I can, either? but I like it. Because <laughs> oh. what I do is I get in. Get my body used to that warm, and then I just keep cranking up the heat until it's literally scolding hot. That is exactly why you have dry skin. Okay. I get it, but you know what? I like it. So this is my life, and it's now or never. Goose fraba. I'm never going to live forever. Goose fraba. How does that song go? Goose fraba. Goose fraba. Fusrada. Say it with me. Fusrada. Fusrada. You can't even listen to simple instructions. I said goose fraba. Fru- <laughs> Fruits mala. He's a lost cause. It's f- Anyways. Daniel's a non-chest cleaner over People here. People who get okay. it, get it. We're gonna- <laughs> People who get it, get it. Okay. So we got to talk about something very, very uh, uh, amazing that is happening in Ohio. Oh, really? Record highs for Ohio. Yeah. And that is the lottery. What about it? It is at $1.6 billion. Man. So the question I have for you is if you were to play the lottery today, because the numbers get drawn today. Okay. I think Rachel's going to go buy her ticket today. Just say, let's see what happens. Okay. If you were to go buy a ticket today and play it today, what would you do? You're obviously, would you take the payout first? Would you take the payout? Like, would you take it, like... Talking about the over the time payout, yeah, or would you just take the lump sum front payout? Well, <clears throat> how so? How long is the term for over over a period of time? I think it's twenty five years. years. Yeah. Okay, so if it's one so you would billion, technically not have to work for twenty five. Yeah. No, you'd never. Either have to way, work. either way, you would never yeah. have to work. Yeah. So what's twenty five billion? Or it's you said not how that works. One billion. It's one point six billion divided by twenty five years. Right. One point six billion. Hey, Miss Accountant, 20. what is yeah. that math? What's one point six billion divided by twenty five? Twenty five. Twenty five. What is it? Series too stupid. <laughs> no, it can't be. Okay, what is it? One point six billion. Divided by 25. 64 million. So it's $64 million a year. Right. Compared to how much would it be if we you just took the lump sum? I think it's like between like 7 or 800 million. Or yeah, because you have to pay about 50% taxes. Yeah. Well, you just pay that up front, though. Yeah. Instead of for the next 25 years, you're paying taxes and you're on a different tax bracket. Yeah. So I couldn't spend 60 something million a year. No. Uh, I mean, no, well, you, no matter what, you're. You you're, won't even be able to pay. You wouldn't. You would never spend six hundred million dollars in your lifetime. No, well, I mean, Rachel I and I. So Rachel and I figured I out. Could Rachel? Well, you could, but that's not 
a wise investment. Dude, you could buy a business for more than six hundred million. Well, right, uh, fine. But so Rachel and I, we we figured out that the average individual doesn't pay more, or how much do they pay uh, in their lifetime? You spend about three million dollars in your lifetime. In a lifetime, no, I probably already spent that. I'm probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so, so if you were, so what would you do? Would you take the payout over the years yeah, or would over you the just take the lump sum? Okay. So yeah. what would you do with that money? Uh, so I actually kind of already thought about this the other day. Not even think about the lottery. I would first take probably 10 million and invest it into somebody who's going to invest that money. So stock market. Okay. Uh, I would buy up a ton of properties for rentals. Um, and, the rest would be invested into businesses, entrepreneuring, uh, donations, charity, different stuff like that. Now, what if you just wanted to be completely stupid with your money? What like would most you do people it? who win the lottery? Yeah. I wouldn't be. I'd... Okay, we're, we're living in a hypothetical world, my friend. Okay, if, so if, if I you wanted, wanted to be, be stupid moral, with all that money. I'd move to California and it'd all be gone in three years. <laughs> I, that's not $64 million in three years. So, what are you do you doing? understand how expensive it are is you to live in California? buying 50 houses in Beverly Hills? You just buy out all the houses in Beverly Hills? You think a, a house in Beverly Hills is just a couple of million? No. They're I, expensive. Okay. You're not, I thought, I'm not talking about you being <laughs> responsible. Like what kind of things okay. would you selfishly buy? Like a mansion. What cars, what? What boat? Would you buy okay. a boat? Would you buy a yacht? How many yachts would you buy? <laughs> I don't like the water. I do, actually. But I don't really care about boats. So I would probably buy a private jet. That's okay. a ton of money right there. Yep. Wow. I would buy a video game company. Okay. Uh, but that's more of a wise investment than Can anything. Can we just buy GameStop and, like, completely change it for the better? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you think it's a savable business? A savable business? GameStop? I, I understand that they are still doing very good, but no matter what, they're going down. Here's the thing. If we were to buy GameStop, yeah. with if, if, if the money we got was able to buy GameStop, and we were to close down a certain amount of stores in the entire United States, yeah. we would probably be able to rebrand and save the company. Sure. I mean, that's kind of what they did originally when they became GameStop because yeah. they bought EB Games. But and, you and uh, I have both worked for GameStop. Yeah, and we know why they can't keep employees. Yo, that's one thing I would do for sure is I would start paying the employees way better. Yeah, and ma- give them an incentive to sell. Yeah, yeah, commission. Yeah, like most businesses where you sell things. I I actually figured out the perfect commission for GameStop: one penny for every new dollar, five cents for every used dollar, because they make they make ten percent more. Uh, profit off of used products than they do on new. So every new dollar that an employee does a sale of is one penny per okay. dollar. Yep. Uh, so it's 60 cents for one Yeah, game. you definitely, for GameStop, they definitely want to push their used items yep. faster. And so if somebody comes in and buys a used console, extra controller, they buy a whole bunch of used games, a yep. headset, they drop $500 on so, used stuff, that's 500 pennies for me. Yep. That's an extra five so, bucks off one sale. I've been in the salesman world for a long time, and there's yeah. a lot of companies that kind of have this backwards of we want to sell our most expensive products. Yep. I don't have that mentality. Everybody wants to upsell you. Yeah, I never did that. No. I typically downsell. What I mean by that is uh, I'll give you from a Menard standpoint. There's a toilet at Menard's. It's like $300. It's American Standard, mm-hmm. one of the better quality toilets, which is a bunch of load of crap because it could flush a bucket of golf balls. <clears throat> I've never tested that. We should do that one day. Um, <laughs> so there was a guy looking at this, and he says, I, yeah, I eventually want to replace all the toilets in my house. I told the guy, I said, okay, how many toilets do you have to replace? And he said, four. I said, dude, I said, let me sell you four toilets that are $100 each that are the same quality, but they are a Menard's name. Guess how much, guess what? He was able to replace all four toilets. Hold on. I'm going to guess how much. Do you know how much you saved them? Go ahead and guess. Okay. I'm going to guess you saved him a total of $200 for four toilets. Yeah, because of because you didn't have to replace all of his toilets. Yeah. Yeah. So if you would have gone through and spent the two, 280 or $300, right. then they had saved more money. 
buying because he also bought more stuff to add on, like all the new mm-hmm. uh, hookups, all the new wax rings, everything else. That's why, and people don't understand that. No, they they just want to spend. They just want to sell the more expensive items. Where even at GameStop, I even sold people used stuff. I yeah. said, even though you're saving five dollars on a used item compared to new, yeah, it, you're it still always, saving money. You're still saving money. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go ahead and move this away from salesperson talk. No, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, you brought it up. You brought it up. Did I? Yeah, because you were talking about. No, you commission. asked me what no, I would you spend my about, lottery money on. No, no, no. But and you I, talked about commission. <laughs> you talked about okay. Listen, You're this is what this is how I would face. spend my stupid money. Okay, okay. I'm a car guy, love cars. I I'd buy the dumbest cars I possibly can. So Ferrari? there's a guy out there on the YouTube world. His name's Whistling Diesel. Okay, Whistling Diesel. He does the stupidest things with the highest quality cars. Like he dropped a G wagon. From a lift onto a house. Why? Because he can. He has the availability to do these things. It's so weird. Yeah. Dumb. So I would buy the craziest cars. I would take a Ferrari and put the engine from that into a Mustang. And it's just the dumbest of things. Because I have money. I don't have to be responsible. I would. Now, to be fair, I am married, and I probably wouldn't be allowed to do that afterwards, yeah. but... I would so if I I'm not a big car guy, but I do like old muscle. Sixty eight and sixty nine Camaro is my dream car. Okay. Yeah. Mine's a sixty seven Ford Fastback. Hmm. Not as good as mine, but I'm just kidding. We'll see. I'm just kidding. Anyways, I would totally buy and soup up a nice sixty nine Camaro. That would be fantastic. That's about the only thing. Or I would actually get a uh, a hot rod made. Okay. Yeah. Classic cars are better. Oh, yeah. Way better. Worse for the better environment, built. but screw the environment. Better built. Oh, yeah. Get into an accident in them, way better. Just no seatbelts. Metal frames, baby. No seatbelts. <laughs> you didn't need them back then. No, you didn't. They're so much safer. Yeah, you get in an accident and you're bouncing around inside your car, but nothing else. Okay. The car what, is meant to crumple means? around you. But, but here's, here's the thing. thing. It's not meant to crumple you. Exactly. But, okay, so th- she has a point to the fact of it's probably a little safer for the car. <laughs> Your car won't yeah. total as quick. Yeah. You might have a few broken bones and maybe a yeah. concussion, but the car's still safe. You can take it home, rebuild it, exactly. and you're fine. I can heal myself. The car cannot. Yeah. Not well, that's eh, fine. If I'm dead, then I'm in heaven and I'm enjoying Aftermarket all airbags. the cars that I would want. Is that how that works? Yep. On them golden streets? Yeah. Got tire marks from burnouts and everything else on them? <laughs> how much is that gold worth now? <laughs> uh, more. With, with tire rubber. More once you get, uh, what's his nuts up there? Drifting around? Who? The guy from Fast and Furious? Paul, Paul Walker? Walker. Yeah, he's up there. <laughs> the what's his nuts? <laughs> he's up there drifting around. In heaven, getting the golden streets. Do you all. think there's tires in heaven, or are they just angel wings? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the I'm tires pretty, are just angel wings. Yeah. You just have a car with four angel with, wings. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to point out that Paul Walker was not the one who drifted. <sighs> that is true. He's not the one that drifted cars. Sorry, who was that? Was that the Asian guy, or was it? It was the Asian guy. Yeah, he was the white guy in Asia. Never. White guy in Asia. White guy in Japan. He wasn't in... <laughs> sure, he was in Tokyo to be exact. Yeah. But Asia's still not the wrong answer. If you said, where was listen, he? And I said, in Asia, still correct. Yeah, I know. But Paul Walker's still out there doing burnouts. No, oh, yeah, for Faux sure. Faux show. Faux show. Yeah. I've never seen any of the movies past three. That's sad. Why? Because up I until... know what the premise of all of them are, and they all sound just the worst. All of them are good up until six, because six starts to get very strange. They all seem strange. No, because they're about family, family up, up until, until six, six, and then everything is just about going, going to the moon, moon or <laughs> driving on ice. His in a name Lamborghini. was Sean in the movies. Well, Sean, Sean the white guy from Asia. <laughs> white guy from Asia. <laughs> or, I mean, because one of the films, they just drive a Lamborghini on a sheet of ice, running away from a submarine. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't why... work out for him. Well, good. That makes sense. 
because he ends up the only part of the Lamborghini that survives is the door, and that's because he's sledding on it at the end, <laughs> being dragged by another truck. <laughs> Yeah, see, everything about those movies sound just absolutely horrible. They're entertaining. I, I'm sure I've never are. seen any of them. Never seen one, two, three, Tokyo Drift or Asia you, Drift? You have to at least watch, you have to watch the first one. First one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The, fir- the first two are the best, and it starts to get a little far-fetched afterwards. Tokyo Drift is It w- starts really- off far-fetched, but far-fetched in reality. Right, yeah. Like, yeah. there is an undercover cop who's trying to break up a... Gang. Underground gang of drifters stealing stuff, and then he's like, "Actually, I want to join you." And it's like underground, but he's like, "Also, I kind of love you guys, so I'm on your side now, and let's defeat worse people." Yeah, it's a little strange. Yeah. The story doesn't really make any sense at any point, but you're each, missing a lot of key points in that. But sure, <laughs> each progressing movie just gets more and more insane. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, running away from a submarine. In a Lamborghini. Don't they drive a car into space at one point in one of the movies? That's the newest one, isn't it? Yeah. They somehow, they modify a car to be able to go to space. <laughs> and then they end up on, I think Family. they, I think they end up on the National Space Station. <laughs> Just dr- they drifting get, around the yeah, National Space so Station. They get, they get rescued by the, by the International Space Station. They're like, Hi guys. <laughs> They're just floating out the window or something like that. So they have to figure out how to get back to Earth. Why'd they go to space? To blow up a satellite or something crazy like that. Why'd they take a car? Because it's a car movie. You think they're going to create a rocket ship and just go up there? No, they're going to do all they can to take a car to space. Why is John Cena in it? And I'm pretty sure they put the only two black guys in the movie (laughs) Into space. <laughs> we know they're not going in the ocean, so. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. No, bleep. Hey, that can stay in. Black people, if you watch this, do you disagree? The answer is going to be no. They don't disagree. But so, it's only because there's sharks in the water. <laughs> that's right. They'd rather deal with aliens than sharks. I would rather deal with aliens than sharks. What is on your bucket list? What is the craziest thing on your bucket list? Just one thing. Craziest thing. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of logical things on my bucket list. Um, Most of mine, I, my wife said I can't do until I'm like old enough to die, and she'd be okay with it. You're, you're born old enough to die. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that is so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to make sure I have life insurance first. I get it, yeah. Uh, okay, so craziest thing on my bucket list. <sighs> well, this would be super time and money consuming and be very hard to do, but get well, a tattoo. Well, if you win the lottery, you'll have all of it. Get a tattoo in every single country. Oh. Are you going to have room for all that? Should. Are you going to get tiny little microscopic ones, yeah. tattoos? So actually one of the plans I have is to get a old timey, old school map. Uh, like that looks like a paper map, like a pirate just would have. Back. Yeah, but I'm just have of a America. Point. No, it'd oh. be of America. And so every single time that I get a tattoo in a state, the tattoo artist who does the tattoo would fill in that state, and then there'd be like a register. And so they write, they sign their name in the register. Oh, so it's just for a their state. It's just the outline of the country of, of the, the United states, states. Yeah, and they fill it in with whatever design they want to. Oh. And so they do a tattoo. So it's like a mural on your body. Yep. And so that way it helps me keep track. Now, obviously, I've gotten tattoos in four states so far. Would you cover up the ones you already have? No. Um, So this one, I have to go get it completely redone. That's going to be like 16 hours. Yeah, but the one on your back would be covered up by the map. I don't have one on my back. I thought you did. Mm -mm. No, they're only on your... This one, this one goes across my back of my shoulder, kind of under my neck, but... yeah, yeah. yeah. um, no, I need this one to be completely redone and then finished because I have color in a very small random spot of it. But so yeah, that's my craziest bucket list thing is tattoo in every single state for sure, but every single country. See, yours is a I all minor death. <laughs> like I want to kiss a cobra so bad. Okay. So bad. And then I want to wrestle are you, a game. Are you talking about a wild cobra or are you just gonna go find somebody who has a cobra and kiss it? Well, I want it to be venomous. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but again, are you going to go find a wild cobra? Like just one out I in don't the care. wild? Whatever happens. Or find somebody who owns one? Whatever happens. If somebody owns one, I'll go kiss it. Okay. That's the safest way to do that. Yeah. I also want to wrestle a gator. Okay. Wrestle. Wrestle yeah. a gator. Worked out really well for Steve Irwin. And I want went swimming. <laughs> and then I want to I want to swim with sharks, but like outside of the cage. Have I ever told you about my the time I swam with a shark on accident in the ocean? No. All right. So the, really I was attacked by a shark. Uh so I was down in Florida. I forget what beach, what part of Florida we were in, but uh we had a house on the beach and the tide had gone so far back that we walked out my buddy and i walked out like a mile i mean we were far out we could just barely see the coast um so we walked out to like a sandbar and we're just hanging out out there the tide started rising we stayed out way too long and then we started working our way back and so we're like halfway back and the water is like up to here on me and my buddy's real tall like taller than you and so it's like still here and all of a sudden we hear people yelling from the shore and we look and they're jumping up and down, waving their hands and they're yelling. And we finally understand they're screaming shark. And I turn around and there's the fin coming right at us. And so he starts running. I don't have that ability. My legs are completely submerged. He is still, <laughs> his crotch is still above water. So he's just long legging it Galloping away. Through the so waves. I'm just sitting there, I'm cocked back, ready to just punch the crap out of the shark. And then all of a sudden, as it comes up, pops up, it's a dolphin. It was just a wild dolphin and came up and swam with me. And my buddy came back and we swam with the dolphin. Everybody thought we were going to die. And it was just a dolphin. <laughs> You're such a... I, uh, I was attacked. It was awesome. I was attacked to the ocean. By what? Rachel and I went on our honeymoon. Yeah? And uh, To the ocean? Just... Yeah, yeah, just the ocean. <laughs> we were in Florida. Just except we were staying boat. in Palm, Spring Palm Springs. Palm, Palm Coast. Coast. We were staying in Palm Coast, but we drove. Uh, we drove out to uh, uh, Saint Augustine for the Flagler Beach. Yeah, and uh, we were waving in the water, and the waves were hitting hard. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I felt this fish slap me across the face. I thought it was Rachel's foot. She's like, "I was nowhere near you." I was like, "This fish slapped me across the face. It was hard too. It hurt so bad." What was it? I don't. I can't see it. Oh, it's just a fish. It was just slapped you in the face. Okay. Yeah. Great story. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's fun to get slapped by fish, but I was just hoping you'd be like, oh, and it was a barracuda in I, the ocean for some reason. I just wanted you to know what it felt like for an empty-handed story. Oh, it was mine empty-handed? I mean, you said, you, you clearly said sh you were attacked by a shark. I said but my it was shark attack. I, I did a real quick quotations, okay? <laughs> And that's a great story. I'm glad. All right. Well, thank you for tuning into this episode of Danger Toast. Do you have anything you want to say before we go? I'm a ginger, and Dan doesn't wash his chest. <laughs> Erica, Rachel, anything that you'd like to say? I am also a ginger, and I still love that chest, baby. All right. And I am not a ginger, and my chest is perfectly clean. You can ask anybody who's ever seen it, which is most people. So, until the next episode, stay toasty. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, it really helps us out doing all of those things. If you subscribe, that way you get to know, see words more of the co the content that we make. <laughs> the words more. Yeah, you get the more of the <laughs> proper words that I should say here of the content that we make. Uh, and you get notified and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Share us with your friends and yeah, family. Absolutely. We're a family-friendly podcast. Yeah. We, we, are, like, we like families. We might say crotch once in a while. We need families. Nether regions. We're lonely. We're, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> We're lonely. <laughs> I think they say boobs on Nickelodeon. Probably. Yeah. All the above. Disney yeah. Channel, I've been pretty good excited. I'm sure they say boobs. I mean, boobs are just boobs. Boobs are just boobs. It's I've just part boobs. of the body. I got boobs right here. They're pretty jiggly, too. Mine are not. <laughs> <laughs> Stay dangerous, folks. Stay toasty, my friends. There's See ya. To... Wait, wait. There's more. I was going to say. Oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah. Go check out episode 2.5, which is not this one for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Why do you always do this to me? Why do I do what? You talk so much at the end.
This is episode two because it's a video form. The audio version is 2.5. Okay. What do you mean I talk so much at the end? I was wrapping it up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did that's, I wrap it up too much? That's why I changed the subject. Because I was like, I have no, like, I, I have no ground. You don't to, talk too much. I have no ground to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> you talk too much on this podcast. Shut up, Dan. <laughs> it's like it's our jobs or something. We need to have five minutes of silence every two minutes. <laughs>